Hej, för att du det är den. Här är kraftinstrument. Yes. And this one is a fancy digital instrument with a liquid crystal display, it seems. It is a fuel quantity indicator made by the Smith Industries Aerospace Civil Systems. And yes, we have some software inside. And this one actually is quite modern. It is made in the year 2000. Interesting, it was uh, modified in 2002 by Smith Industries. More uh, 2000 dead code here. Caution electrostatic sensitive device. And we have an inspection seal from the customer service which is broken. So, in this one we can expect quite a lot of electronics. There is a software so we must have some uh, microprocessor thing to run the software obviously. So, there is some kind of spring action going on when I undo the screws, it is weird. And there is a very annoying ring. So, here is what we have. As you can see, it is pretty much full. They did wrap some insulator plastic around everything here. We have a very thick front piece with the LCD. And they did place at the back here some toroidal transformer. Well, um, I will first try to undo the front uh, piece here to have a look at the display. So it looks like you have to twist this part but you cannot because it is uh, actually locked. So I need to find a way to loosen these two little screws. Let me see if it works with this screwdriver. Because of course, they are Imperial Allen screws. Could be too easy. No. Very interesting. Uh, let me try with maybe sometimes you can use a Torx. No. Okay, so let me try to find my uh, other tools and I will be right back. Okay, so you know what? I guess I have a correct size, but as I cannot put it fully in the screw head, I cannot turn them, so uh, anyway there is already a teardown of my, in my channel of another instrument with the same setup here, I will link it in the video description, I guess it is the same thing, we have uh, just a LCD display or some kind of either bulb or electroluminescent backlight, but this thing is completely stuck, so I will not, uh, do not want to damage it too much, so I will not open it, but we can try to have a look at the electronics. Uh, yes, I, I can figure out how to remove this thing. We did apply a big uh, sticky type here. Then we have some captain tape keeping the flap cables in place. So luckily enough, I have captain tape. So I will be able to replace it. I can cut it because I do not see where is the start in this thing. We have a Nishikon brand capacitors, as you can see. But they are still... Uh, 
usually uh, capacitors for uh, consumer grade equipment and it is quite well to see them in uh, the craft equipment so we have obviously a stack of three PCBs uh, connected together with uh, these weird flat flex I will zoom here on the ICs for you uh, this one at the bottom left is an analog device AD7549 this one is not possible to read on the two other ones you can read them so we have this PCB uh, on this one we just have uh, probably some kind of uh, power supply thing yes because it is connected to the Torida transformer obviously with this uh, pin to pin connectors it looks like the back piece here is just connected with headers and that I could be able if I unzoom and if I undo two screws it looks like it is possible to pull it out yes easy enough just like so little circuit back here at the back for the connecting to the round connector and here is what we have in the middle we can see the stack of PCB so there is something weird in fact you can see the holes here in this PCB and here also are very near the edge of the circuit so you can see the inside so I want to check what we have on the middle PCB it looks like oh this is a really really not a very reliable connection maybe it is why they did uh, put so many uh, sticky tape over it because really it is coming loose very easy so it looks like I have two screws to undo one of them being hidden here at the back and not wanting at home to come off this one is coming at least very small screw so I will try a bigger screwdriver because I see some kind of weird ICs going on in the middle here so I want to check what we have but ok it is good ok wow this is interesting guys can I disconnect this with no damage yes so first a bit here and we have actually something weird because it looks like uh, two layers I see we have some uh, EPROM here most obviously with the number on it matching the number of the software here and we have another level of IC so I wonder if it is possible to lift if very gently to disconnect this uh, one and see what we have under it it is I guess the first time, time I see this here we are and all of this for nothing because the number is actually written here Itachi HD63PO1M1 with mezzanine EPROM looks like everything is run with uh, uh, little tubular crystal quartz here a few 
auxiliary ICs in fact very few and this is quite unexpected in fact to find this it is the first time ever I see it I didn't know they did exist but I was not expecting this ok it is back in place so as you can see really they had to uh, fight to put everything in the size of uh, in the shape of the instrument I am not sure why uh, maybe they could have used a deeper case but they didn't obviously and really it is uh, quite uh, nice little thing little instrument so I am trying to put this back together with no damage which of course is always difficult and for your fun of course the screws are not magnetic um, but makes the work much more easier I am just joking here ok so I can reconnect this flimsy little connector and this one also which is completely a very weird design yes they are actually very, quite easy to fit in the socket but really I am not impressed here we have some uh, more information and written here also ok and of course do not forget to reinstall the back piece uh, which uh, yes you cannot put it uh, in the wrong way because the screws are not in the middle ok it is good quite uh, complicated setup and I have to align the standoffs here to be able to reinsert this so it is interesting to see how it is in a much newer aircraft instrument than usual There must be something interesting in here, but really it is not possible to. I do not understand really well what the deal is with these uh, springs. Probably it is really to press the uh, LCD against the uh, instrument case. Quite weird. And why they did not uh, first use uh, slotted or uh, Phillips screws here? Why putting Allen screws here? And why they did not put the screws at a point you can reach it without taking apart everything? They are really at the two most annoying spots. Quite uh, weird with design. Yes, it is pretty fixed, so I guess we have some kind of. Uh, backlight maybe some uh, electroluminescent backlight or cold cathode backlight maybe I can see yes it seems there is a circuit board behind this transformer so there must be some uh, auxiliary uh, some driver here for the backlight or maybe some uh, decoder for the LCD because in fact we have in this we have, I do not know if it will be possible to show the camera but at a certain angle, yes, here maybe you can see my uh, it is my roof window you see there but you can see actually there is a, a bar graph all around there is a fuel indication here and we have uh, five and a half digits, something like this, and you have my fingerprints which I will clean before reinstalling the uh, case 
So yes, and there is uh, for all these there is a little number of wires here. So there must be some uh, driver chip inside here to drive uh, LCD. And this no, it is not soldered. It is uh, in fact we have a little uh, some kind of little sockets directly in the PCB. So this flat flex can could be pulled as so and disconnected but it seems very delicate so I will not do it uh, but what I will do is uh, reinstall maybe not this because it is ruined but I will reinstall some uh, captain tape over everything and I will uh, put this back in the case Ok, so there is a red seal here, but in fact there is nothing behind it, I can remove it completely because it is useless, it is just to hide nothing. Quite uh, interesting. And uh, apart from this, yes, nice uh, set of components for this uh, modern device. Oh, I did just spot one problem, the options should hate it. Look at this. We have a capacitor here, electrolytic capacitor just stuck against the heat sink of the whatever it is, uh, voltage regulator or power transistor. But there is it heat sink, uh, heat sink over it, so it must hit, and they did really put the capacitor very, very near it. Ok, there is more stuff here, in fact, one more transist power transistor. Uh, these two little heaters will just, uh, in fact, just like the uh, flat flex, they will disconnect really easy. But there is, uh, they did cut a leg here and they did fill one of the uh, receptacles with uh, solder so you cannot mismatch them at least but there is nothing to prevent them from coming loose except the, the case of the instrument itself in fact on the all the captain tape you will put around quite fun okay so this was a quite a neat one it will be a nice piece in my collection for sure so thanks for watching bye bye